Dear students, we're going to have a series of new tutorials with the subject gradients. So we're going to see first how the gradients mechanic works and afterwards how we can use it with different tools and how we can do new gradients. So we're going just to have a quick start how to open gradients, how to find the most important tools and how to be dealing with it in many different creative ways. Okay. So the first thing to be paying attention on is I have now gradients here. I can open it on window media and here we have gradients and together with gradients we have gradients knots which is this little extra uh, triangle circle um, for colors. We have a uh, little list of different gradients that Painter gives us and in this case we have the possibility of working with two different colors or we can work with a color and transparency or we can work with the gradients that we have here already. I'm going to be showing you how we can be using this. The first way to use it would be to grab the filling tool and we have in this case I would just press my panic button just for us to always have the same quality of image coming through and we can fill up with the actual color from my color wheel, the selected color. We can be working uh, with structure and with the gradient. So I'll just grab the gradient and I just jumped to the two colors that we have here. So at the moment I click on uh, my image. I'm bringing up this gradient in this whole image. We can as well open a new layer and in this case I would just grab a tool and I'll make it a little bit larger. I'm filling up a big area like this. Then I'll get my filling tool again and I have already the information saved in here. I can just fill up the areas that I have painted with this gradient. Another option to do so would be <clears throat> to select any gradient from the gradient palette. You can see here as well that I could just grab another color and be filling up around it. But knowing that at the moment I fill up a certain area and I would like to fill up again. It's going to be selecting a color range. You can see here the tolerance is from 32. If I go up here, I'm just going to be really filling this whole thing on this uh, color range. So if I have different colors, I'll just bring everything back again. For example, I have deck fiber. I'll grab another color. And I can just fill up this selected area so that it's not going to be filling just everything that has some color in there. Okay. And I'll move back. We have here a few different types of gradients that we can use. For example, the colors that we have here together with this different type of gradient. So this first one is a linear one. The second one. And together with that, we have a few different directions as well. So one example, second example, third example, and so on. So we have really a lot of different types. And we can see as well, we can change the angle from um, the gradient, or we can make it thinner or if you want thicker okay so we have a little bit of control up here I'm going to be showing you as well here the two different uh, main gradients the first one is the collection of these two colors the main color and uh, the secondary color and here depending on which color you pick up 
you're going to do your gradient. It's a quite simple one. The second one is going to be working with a main color into transparency. At a certain point, it starts getting a little bit boring to be working always with the gradients that Painter gives you. So you would like to start developing your own gradients. And this is what we're going to see on the next tutorial. Talk to you soon.